So let's examine the following example that deals with magnetic forces produced by currents inside wires. So suppose two parallel wires are placed horizontally and lie one millimeter apart. So here we have our two horizontal wires which are placed parallel and the distance between our two wires D is equal to 0.001 meter. Now, the length of both wires is given to be 8 meters and the mass per unit length is 0.4 grams per meter. Now, if the electric current in the bottom wire I1 is given to be 20 amps and flows in the positive direction along the x-axis, find the current needed in the top wire to balance the gravitational force acting on the bottom wire. So this bottom wire which has an electric current given by I1 traveling in the positive direction will feel a gravitational force acting on this wire which will point in the negative direction along our y-axis as shown by the following green vector. Now, this top wire will also have an electric current given by I2 which will flow in the positive direction along the x-axis. Now if we use the right hand rule we see that as a result of this electric current there will be a magnetic force that will act on the bottom wire as a result of the magnetic field produced by the electric current in the top wire. And the direct of this magnetic force will point in a positive direction along the x-axis. So these two forces will point in the opposite direction. So we essentially want to calculate the quantity of I2 that will create a magnetic force that will exactly balance out the gravitational force. In other words, these two forces should have the same exact magnitude. So let's begin in part A by calculating the mass of the bottom wire. Once we calculate the mass in step A, in step B we're going to use that to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic force and in step C we're going to use that result to solve for our I2. So let's begin with step A. To calculate the mass we essentially take the mass per unit length of 0.4 grams per meter and multiply it by the total length of 8 meters and that gives us 3.2 grams. So we want to convert from grams to kilograms so we divide this quantity by 1000 and we see that the mass of this bottom wire is 0.0032 kilograms. Now in step B we want to use the second law of motion. The sum of the forces acting on the bottom wire along the y-axis is equal to, well it's simply equal to the positive force minus the negative force and that sum is equal to zero because this wire is not accelerating. So that means the magnetic force is equal to the gravitational force. Now we don't know what the magnetic force is but we can easily solve for the gravitational force because we know what the mass is. So the magnetic force is equal to m times g which is equal to 0.0032 kilograms which was found in part a multiplied by the gravitational constant 9.8 meters per second squared and that gives us about 0.031 newtons is the gravitational gravitational force and that is equal to the magnitude of our magnetic force. So now in step C we calculate I2. So the force of gravity is equal to the magnetic force which is equal to the product of mu naught which is our permeability of free space constant multiplied by the electric current I1 multiplied by the electric current I2 which is what we're looking for multiplied by L, the distance of the wire, divided by 2 pi d, where d is simply the distance between our two wires. So we know all these quantities except our I2. So we solve for I2 and we see that I2 is equal to 
the force of gravity, which is the same exact force as our magnetic force multiplied by 2 pi d divided by mu naught multiplied by I1 times L. So, our gravitational force is 0.031 newtons, so 2 pi is a constant. D is simply 0.001 meters. Divide that by our permeability of free space, 4 pi times 10 to negative 7 teslas, multiplied by meters divided by amps, multiplied by I1, which is 20 amps, multiplied by L, which is 8 meters, and that gives us an electric current of 0.1 amps. So this is the electric current that must exist in the top wire so that it creates a magnetic force that acts on the bottom wire that will exactly cancel out the gravitational force so that this wire will not accelerate, will not move along the y-axis.